So, I haven't talked about Amphibia a whole lot recently on the channel. There were distractions. DuckTales series finale, Infinity Train's hopefully not series finale. But in addition, I just haven't felt all that motivated to make videos about it. The temple video I thought about making was already covered much better by Roundtable, the community overall has plenty of reactions and theories out there, and I just didn't feel like I had anything interesting to say. Well thankfully, the dinner and Battle of the Bands came out, and as all the pieces are in place for the season finale, I want to talk about why this pair of episodes is so incredibly important to the structure of the show as a whole, even without having seen the rest of the show yet. Also, the song slapped. So while I personally thought that the pacing of Amphibia Season 1 was rather slow, the way it set up the finale was perfect, with the focus of the finale really centering on Anne and Sasha's relationship and the conflict it entailed. Well, Season 2 has done the same thing, but in a slightly different way. The big issue here is that, for the season finale to function as it looks like it will, the three girls need to have already met up before it begins. And Season 2 has done a great job of giving this enough time to breathe, which is where this pair of episodes comes in. See, if the show went straight from the third temple to true colors, this season would feel so rushed. I mean, I think the girls' meeting for the first time in the third temple was a bit rushed itself, but when taken into consideration with these two episodes, it works perfectly. See, Sasha's journey is interesting because it's been given far less time to develop than Marcy's this season. With Marcy getting whole episodes to herself and plenty of time to develop her friendship with Anne, it's harder for us to understand Sasha's connection to both of them. So these episodes are important. Marcy is kind of just there in these two episodes, as the Sasha vs. Anne and the Planters drama takes center stage in the dinner, and Sasha's journey is the focus of Battle of the Bands as she learns the lesson about supporting her friends from Toady. Because sometimes, being a good friend just means being there for them when they need it the most. Also, Grimes steals so many scenes in both episodes. How did you even walk? Your home is sufficient for habitation. Be nice. How many? All shall tremble at my performance. <laughs> this piece is dedicated to the serenity of nature. But these episodes perfectly set up Sasha's mentality for this finale. She's loyal to Grime and the Toad Rebellion, but this honest smile shows that she truly does care for Anne, despite their past conflicts and her rough facade. She says she hasn't changed, but by this episode, she kinda has, which provides a huge dilemma for her in the finale. Does she side with Anne, or continue to help the Toad army? The other reason these two episodes work so well is that, well, this is a status quo that we'll never have again. Sasha and Grime on good terms, along with Anne, Marcy, and the Planters? This is likely the only opportunity we'll get to enjoy this unique status quo. And so the crew went all out and had so much fun with these episodes. The joke quota is off the charts, and you truly get the sense that from this moment on, nothing will ever be the same. To emphasize that, we get the final photo shot of everyone in Wartwood together. Anne's performance of No Big Deal just warmed my heart. Seeing Sprig and Hot Pop so proud of how much Anne has changed and improved being a part of their family, and even Sasha acknowledging how happy and self-reliant Anne has become over their time in Amphibia. I mean, look at you. What happened to the shy little Anne who needed me to stick up for her all the time? <laughs> She's still here, Sash. She just needs a little less protecting. You get the perfect sense of this false finale lead-in that everything is good and I'm so happy they took the time to give us these light moments with all these characters together before everything is shattered. So future cartoon makers, remember this. Don't forget to take advantage of a unique status quo created in your stories while it exists. Because these episodes of Amphibia will always be extra special because the show will never be like this again. So, true colors. Does Sprig get stuck on Earth at the end and meet his long lost mom? Does anybody use the Calamity Box? How will Anne's gem not being charged affect it? Will we learn more about the crazy beast underground or the show's integral prophecy? There's so many theories, but honestly, I'm just here for the ride. I really want to make another perfect season finale video next week, so I hope this episode holds up. No! 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 Let me know if you think there will be a cliffhanger or if True Colors will be able to tell a full story. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you back in Dimension 1. Alright, so yeah, if you couldn't tell, this video was supposed to come out right before True Colors, but then everything happened with the cancellation, and the leak, and the delay, and I'm just happy that this video is done, and I just really love these episodes, and I wanted to talk about them. 
and I'm obviously going to want to talk about True Colors in one way or another. When we do get the official release date, I'm going to plan a live stream for the night of the premiere if possible, and that way we can just all discuss it in a nice open form, and it'll be a nice very first Second Dimension live stream with the new branding and everything. Hopefully I'll be able to get a video about the ghost of Molly McGee out later this week, and once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.